quid pro quo is Latin for getting a favor in return for something. And the U.S. ambassador to the EU, Gordon Sondland, said that was exactly what the U.S. president wanted. Was there a quid pro quo? As I testified previously, with regard to the requested White House call and the White House meeting, the answer is yes. Sondland, the star witness at the presidential impeachment hearing, said that he, the U.S. Secretary of State, the Vice President and many others knew and were involved in an effort led by Rudy Giuliani, Trump's personal lawyer, to pressure the new Ukrainian government to publicly open investigations surrounding Trump's political rival, Joe Biden, and his son. Sondland said a White House visit was delayed and then nearly $400 million in military aid frozen in a bid to get a public statement announcing investigations from the Ukrainians. Sondland said he and others went along with this private political plan because they wanted U.S. policy with Ukraine to get back on track. Simply put, we were playing the hand we were dealt. We all understood that if we refused to work with Mr. Giuliani, we would lose a very important opportunity to cement relations between the United States and Ukraine. So we followed the president's orders. The testimony was the most explosive yet in the impeachment inquiry, linking the U.S. president directly with the alleged plot. Sondland, however, is not a perfect witness. He's revised his closed-door written testimony, and his words Wednesday were refuted by several senior U.S. officials, including Vice President Mike Pence. And the U.S. president also distanced himself, saying he never wanted any quid pro quo and didn't know Sondland well. I don't know him very well. I have not spoken to him much. This is not a man I know well. Seems like a nice guy, though. But I don't know him well. That's a problem for the president. Sondland donated a million dollars to Trump's inauguration committee, spoke to him regularly on the phone, and he's not a so-called never-Trumper. But could he be the key witness that leads to impeachment? After Gordon Sondland, four more witnesses to testify in this second week of the impeachment inquiry here on Capitol Hill, but none as likely explosive as we heard from the U.S. ambassador to the European Union. Nathan King, CGTN at the impeachment inquiry on Capitol Hill.